and this is your futon. Um, this just comes down. This just sleeps in one person. It's kind of like a little cot. Um, pillows up here, coming around to the main uh, bedroom, so to say. Uh, you do have your his and hers closets pretty much on both sides of the bed. And you do have uh, top and bottom storage on this. This window right here on the driver's side of the coach, this is going to be your fire exit window. Um, and this window does come all the way out. Why? I'm not going to fight this right now. But this window comes all the way out. It's just a little sticky right now from washing and whatnot. Window shades all come down the same way. You do have a uh, smoke detector in the room. Smoke and carbon monoxide um, above the bed. Some overhead storage. And these lights are going to work just the same way as the ones over the couch. And then this is your window um, on the front that we opened up that you can see through. You do have a TV in here as well, along with another carbon monoxide uh, detector plugged into the wall. Again, TVs, outlets, air conditioner is only going to work when you're plugged into shore power. Uh, here's some more his and hers. You do have plenty of pillows in here. Um, there's a few more actually out in the living room. Um, but here's this light working too, so you can see everything working. Uh, your light switches for in the bedroom are going to be right here underneath your TV. Up is on, down is off, and the dimmers do work as well. Uh, you do have an uh, accordion style door here that just slides across and latches in right here. Uh, it's to give you privacy from the rest of the coach. And then when you're ready, that just opens right back up slides in and then this will keep it closed coming around here uh, you have your dinette right here this turns into a bed uh, this tabletop comes off and down uh, to make a bed also this is a slider so if you have a couple people back there you can slide this out um, and then you do have storage underneath here with the little pickups right under here um, to do but this one when you drop it you're gonna loosen these up right here kind of stable come on slides down and now it's being difficult but it slides down just like that and goes down to make the bed and then you'll use the cushions on the back of the couch to cover this up but I'm going to go ahead and put this back up and lock this in. Uh, you do have some outlets underneath the dinette here as well. Along with your all your owner's manuals, I am going to be sticking right above the kitchen sink. Right here. That's where all your owner's manuals are going to be. Um, you do have a sink cover. This doubles up as a cutting board too for cooking. Uh, like I said, it is winterized right now, so there is no water on board. If you have any little pink drops here, it's going to be totally normal. Um, when you come over here, this is going to be your monitor panel. So your battery, all you got to do is press it and it'll tell you a percentage. So right now your batteries are at 13.6 volts. Your fresh water, there's zero on. There's zero on board. Uh, the gray water, there's 19% full. Um, and this is just testing your water system and everything. That's where your gray water went. And then there's nothing in your black tank right now. Um, your inverter switch here does need to be on with this light on uh, to charge the batteries. If you turn it off, that's going to kill everything on the front end. You're not going to have marker lights or anything while you're driving. Uh, this switch needs to be on pretty much all the time. If you're disconnecting your coach and shutting it off from your disconnect, you can go ahead and shut this off. Uh, your overhead vent, you have your light switch and your power vent. Um, that goes outside. Again, plenty of overhead storage throughout. And then the front two are going to be uh, the direct TV and your radio. Um, back to the stove top. 
this top, just lift it up, it folds, and just rest right there. Um, propane, just turn it on, one click. I have the bottles off right now. Um, but they all light, everything works. Um, just one click on that, and when you're ready to close this, this comes up, just lift it slightly. It does go down and sit, so it will not move. So you do need to lift up on it and bring this down. Um, to light your pilot under here, your pilot light for your oven is right back here. You will need a long lighter. And then to do that, you're going to take your switch right up here for your oven controls. Put it into uh, the on position. Push it in. And then you're going to light this. And once it lights, you're going to slowly depress this. And then you can turn it to whatever temp and it will light everything under there. Um, when it's not in use, be sure to shut all this stuff off. Uh, you do have more storage underneath. Microwave works uh, just like the one in your household. Again, you need to be plugged into shore power, microwave, air conditioner, and all your outlets, including TVs. You need to be plugged into shore power for those to work. Um, more storage, more storage inside of the microwave. And then underneath the sink as well, uh, a little bit more storage and a trash can. Uh, you come over this way, you have more storage over here, a little pantry space, um, cooking utensils, you'll ultimately decide what you're going to use all these drawers for, but you have plenty of storage, one, two, three, and four over here. This is a heating vent, I'm coming to the other side by the refrigerator. This is your on, so right now you're going to want to keep your digital display at five, this one is for your freezer primarily so we'll go ahead and put this in auto and it's AC or gas so you need to be plugged in or um, you need to have propane on your thermostat for your refrigerator is going to be right here on the fins and up is going to be the coldest and down will be warmer these are two settings that you're going to need to play with um, so you're not freezing food in your refrigerator and you're not just keeping stuff lukewarm in your freezer. That's kind of going to have to go on you. But this is all automatic and it will light. Um, if you are on gas and this light comes on, um, it did not light on gas. So this light should always be off if you're lighting on LP. Um, you do have some more storage over here. Uh, this pretty nice little coat closet so to say uh, you have more drawers over here and this kind of would go along with uh, storage for the bunkhouse back here who's ever staying back here would have this I guess for uh, closet and drawers and whatnot for clothes but all these open up um, your propane detector is going to be right here underneath your fridge uh, they mount these close to the ground uh, propane is denser than air so it likes to settle on the floor if this ever goes off, uh, make sure to shut off any open flames, including oven, stove, refrigerator, furnace, water heater if need be. Um, and if you feel safe, go ahead and shut everything off. If you don't, just get out of the coach, call 911, be safe about it. Uh, your converter and all your fuses are going to be right here. Uh, so everything on the top side is going to be your 110. Uh, so your shore power basically, and these are going to go from your mains to your ACs, to your GFIs, to your outlets, um, all the above. And then all your 12 volt fuses are going to be right down here. And straight from the factory, nothing's labeled right here. Um, so if something does blow, there are little indicator lights on here. I just go ahead and replace it with whichever amp fuse is in there. Uh, you do All this stuff should be in your owner's manuals as well. So if you get bored, it is good reading material. Um, I'd advise anybody that's buying one, uh, read your owner's manuals. Uh, it will help. Uh, you understand your coach uh, quite a bit more than not. So I'm going to go ahead and close these down. Your thermostat is going to be right here on the wall. So you're going to have your power button. So we can go ahead and turn everything on. Right now I have the furnaces on. Um, your fan should always be in auto, so don't ever really worry about this. Your modes are going to go between uh, 
your fans, your furnace, your air conditioners, everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Zone 1 is off and Zone 2 is off. I'm going to go back to Zone 1 and select, um, we'll go ahead and do cool. So we'll see if we can get the air conditioner to turn on today. It is a little cooler today. It's not super warm here, so hopefully we can get it to fire off so you know it.